right. I'm going to be walking us through how to create an account in Blackbot or how to reset our email address so that we can fill out a community food and farm grant application. So I'll start with sharing my screen, which will show the community food and farm grant website. So you'll have to scroll to the bottom where you'll find a heading that says application information and you'll hit um, under number one where it says start your application you'll click to begin an application click here this will take you to our application portal so this is just the online system where you will fill out an application and submit it and then it is sent to us so that we can review it so if you have already applied for a grant through Johnson County, either one, either the Community Food and Farm Grant last year or a different funding opportunity that was offered in um, the past couple of years, you'll log in with the same email that you use. And if you remember your password, you'll log in with that same password. If you've never applied for a Johnson County grant before, please select this Create Account button. It's located in kind of an unintuitive spot, um, but it's right here underneath email address. And it'll ask you to um, add an email address and a password. So please, um, if you do this, if you're creating an account for the first time, write down the password that you use and then go to your email inbox to ensure that you'll, you receive the confirmation email letting you know that you successfully started an account with Blackbaud. Um, then you'll be able to start your application with the Community Food and Farm Grant, and hopefully it'll be smooth sailing from there. Let's say that you um, have applied for the grant in the past, or you have received, have used your email to create an account, um, but maybe you don't remember your password. So I, I'm going to show what that would look like. Um, so I tried to sign in with what I thought was the correct password, but it turned out being incorrect. Um, I just don't remember the password I used years prior. So it's telling me that I have an invalid email or password but I'm pretty confident that this is the email I've used to um, for my account in the past. So what I'm gonna do is click forgot password. And then I'm gonna enter that same email address and hit send password, which will send a temporary password to my email account. Um, so I'm gonna stop sharing for a second and pull up that email. So here's the email that you'll receive in your inbox should you go through this um, forgot password method. Um, so the subject says Johnson County, your information request. It reads, dear applicant, you have reset your password. Your temporary password is, and then it's a randomized um, string of numbers, letters, and symbols. We're gonna use this temporary password to reset our password. So the first thing to do is to copy this temporary password. Be super careful not to um, accidentally copy and paste any spaces. Um, you just want the numbers and letters and symbols that are included in the password. So I'm gonna copy this. And then I'm going to Click on this link, which will take us to the login page. So here I will enter the same email. And then under password, I'm going to go ahead and paste the temporary password that I just copied. All right, so the system recognized that I was trying to reset my password. So where it says current password, this means 
temporary password. This is the password that you just used to log in, the password that was emailed to you. So again, we're just gonna paste. And then it's asking you to create a new password. So I'm gonna do that now. And hit all right, it says that my password has been successfully changed. I'm all logged into the grant portal. Um, and so if you have a um, application already active, it'll show up here and where it says in progress application. So you can just go ahead and continue to fill that out. If you have not yet started an application, um, you'll be able to do so next. You might have to navigate back to our Community Food and Farm Grant page. Click the application, click here. And then you'll be prompted to select your preferred language. For me, I'm gonna select English. and it'll take me into the application where I can fill it out. And as always, save and finish later, you don't have to complete it in one sitting. Um, and then at the end, you'll be prompted to, it's letting me know that I didn't fill out any of the questions. Um, but at the bottom, um, eventually once you do have everything filled out, it'll, there'll be a button to submit and you'll receive an email confirmation as well, letting you know that you've submitted, successfully submitted your application. Um, so I hope that's helpful. And um, as always, you can reach out to us at the, our contact information, which is posted online.